Alrighty, well hello there. Here we are on March 20th, 2021 on a Saturday at 10.04 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. And tonight we're testing out the William Optics GT71 refractor telescope. I haven't had a chance to use this since last year and I've only used it a couple times. I think I got it in November so. But right now I think the uh, telescope is about 420 millimeters so that's what we're seeing here on the screen. But since I'm recording externally there's the 5x of the focus zoom. And there's a 10x. It's not looking too bad. The moon's about 44% uh, lit right now. And it's still pretty high up in the sky. Probably up about, oh, I'm guessing 58 degrees above the horizon or so. I was out earlier <laughs> getting footage during the daytime of it, but it's so hard to judge because the uh, moon looks pretty washed out and stuff, so you can't really tell. But what I'm going to do, now earlier during the day I did try to use a Teleview 2.5x Barlow, well it's PowerMate not an official Barlow, but I had focusing issues, so I don't know if it's because of spacers or what have you. Um, it did work last year, so I don't know. I didn't want to mess around with it too much, so what I did do is uh, went back in and got the Kenko 2X teleconverter that I could use on the camera so let me do that and I'll be right back alright so there we go we have the Kenko 2x teleconverter on there so if this is a 420 millimeter telescope times 2 should be 840 and there we go at the times 5 So we'll just stroll around real quick. And then we'll check it out at the 2x. I'm sorry. At the 10x. So I'm guessing we're up about 8,000 millimeters or so. And have a really crappy alignment as the, <laughs> the moon's drifting. There we go. Well, that's a pretty good look at it. There, I wanted to darken it up a little bit. All right, I'm hearing all kinds of noises out here. Um, hmm. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time out here. <laughs> They're critter sounds, not human, so... Still. <laughs> See, you know, that's not too bad for the... Uh, Using a 2x teleconverter on the camera. And 
the stuff will be able to get this, but let me try something here. That's pretty cool. We can see a couple stars around the moon there. Anyway. Okay, and yeah, that's supposed to be serious. <laughs> All right, there we go. There's serious. Our flashy serious, very colorful. Whoops. That is an amazing star to see. Wow. <laughs> okay, we're at the 10X. Amazing. There we go. We moved it to 1 30th from 1 8th. Look at how flashy and colorful it is. That is my favorite star up there. And we are at the 10X now. Incredible. And there we go with Betelgeuse. Which is the top left part of the Orion constellation. quite flashy too, isn't it? And there we have Aldebaran. It's not quite as orange as uh, Betelgeuse, but that's pretty amazing to watch too. And there we have Mars. And not so overexposed, but it's still a tiny dot at 8,000 millimeters, so. Anyway, that's going to do it. That'll wrap it up. I might throw some of the uh, daytime footage in here. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> I did want to have a side-by-side -side view of uh, the Canon RF 800 lens against this uh, telescope, but I'm going to wait for a warmer day. My fingers are frozen already, so that'll have to do. Anyway, as Mars is going down for the night, we're going to wave goodbye to you from Ohio. Y'all take care. Have a great weekend ahead. It's now 10.30 p.m. up here. Bye now.